Lila Ibrahim. I'm Jesse Sinsack. And Lila, we are here at the Opus Hotel, and uh, we're at some sort of pink carpet pink podium carpet. party. Yes, pink carpet, not the red carpet. Inside, there are media, celebrity, and athletes here for the Winter Games, and we're going to go inside, talk to some interesting people, so let's go check it out. Let's do it. Let's do it. So uh, I'm judging you oh at this very moment. I'm so nervous. nervous. You passed the test, guys. <laughs> you, you look great. stunning. Yes. You look stunning. Love and the shoes. Got the red boots. Red, red, red yes. for the Olympic yes. yes. Hand down to the boots. The boots. <laughs> she loves the boots. And I love to direct. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. So tell me, what is the? What are you most looking forward to in the next well, few it's, days and weeks here? It's funny because I just this afternoon ran with the torch. That was. Yes. Such a high. I mean, that was really a thrill beyond words. It was amazing. I was really looking forward to that. But now, there's so much to look forward to because there's a lot of uh, fashion luminaries that are going to be showing up in Vancouver over the next few weeks. Uh, Dina Dan Caton of D Squared, who, of course, uh, have designed the costumes for some of the opening ceremonies. And so that's going to be great. Cindy Crawford's coming to town. Natalia Bodianova, fantastic Russian uh, supermodel. Uh, it, uh, David Lauren, Ralph Lauren's son. Of course, uh, Ralph Lauren designed the uniforms for the American ski team. So a lot of uh, fun and fashionable people. And I'm just uh, looking forward to all the people watching it. Can you tell us, or I don't know if it's secret, any of the big celebrities you've outfitted for the next couple of, of important weeks here in Vancouver? Yeah, well, we've already done a Amanda Tapping from Stargate. And uh, Ingrid Cavalier who did some presenting today for the Olympics. I also dress. She's going to be attending tonight. I just did a hockey-inspired photo shoot a couple of weeks back because the Olympics were coming, and it's actually on StyleRepublicMagazine.com. So we use all hockey gear and hockey helmets. So I did a lot of hockey research to prepare for that shoot. So, yeah, I go to hockey. It's our national sport. Yeah. Of course. For people that are in from out of town, maybe they've been invited, what, what is a go-to kind of staple to wear at a party. Like, what would you Any one people? of my cocktail dresses. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm doing, like, I've got a lot of women that I'm dressing. And Tiffany Sofer here tonight at Dress as well, who's uh, doing the PR. So, I mean, it's, you have to know where to go in the city for events like this, uh -huh. to know where to get dressed, but there are clothes there. So they come see me. Well, hopefully we will see you around at more parties then, well, and you'll like what we're wearing. <laughs> yeah, you look great. Right. Okay. Thanks so much for joining us. Let me ask you, what is the latest, biggest project you're working on here, right here in Canada? Um, I was lucky enough to just wrap the A-Team that I was on for about three months. We started shooting in September. We wrapped at the end of December, and the Fox is kind of fast-tracking now, and they're pushing it for a June 11th release. Congratulations. That's huge, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you find people, um, you always hear where it's uh, cheaper to make movies. Do you find there is more work in Canada? For me, yeah. I mean, it's been fantastic. Our government just released tax incentives for the province, matching uh, Ontario's tax cuts. Uh, it's, a, it's a big issue, I mean, yeah. all over the place, not only in Canada. Yeah. But uh, we do okay up here. You do okay up yeah. here? And the Olympics? You want to ask yeah, them? yeah, my token question of the night. I'm asking yeah. everybody this. If you had to pick a venue to go and watch, favorite venue, what would it be? Men's hockey. Men's hockey. I want to watch Canada take down the USA. Yeah. Oh! Why do you got to do Goose that? Goose I can for just, Team USA I can just, right now. You can just lay on the floor by those cool sneakers you're wearing, and you, you can could. step on me a you few could. times more. You could. Tell me, what does it feel like to have the Olympics here in Canada right now? Uh, it's it's overwhelming. We, we've been... You know, retired for eight years from competitions, and in 06 we were in Torino, and we felt we were at the right place. We felt that, you know, we didn't have anything else to prove as athletes, but now being here and having it in our own country, I kind of miss it. I kind of miss that that excitement and that performance and the feeling and the, the support of a, a country behind you, but I know that comes with a price that, obviously, we're not willing to pay anymore, so I'm happy doing what I'm doing here, and... Uh, ready to cheer on. Jess, I don't know about you, but I think the Opus has been on a pretty nice party for all the media, celebrity, and athletes. You know what? Tonight was perfection. The hotel's beautiful. There's a lot of beautiful people in there. We had some amazing conversations. We did. And I think we're going to continue to meet some more people and head inside and party as well. Don't forget to check out all of AP's Olympic coverage at wintergames.ap.org. Cheers.